This is Craig in Tokyo for Digital People Folk and today what I want to do is go over how do you use the Material Theme Editor plugin for Sketch by Google. And I wanted to give you a couple of pointers on using it and how do you sketch out your first app. So I assume that with this tutorial you probably already done a wireframe of some app design that you want to do. You might not be a designer or a developer, but you want to put something together so that you possibly could give to a designer. And again, this tutorial is for Sketch, which runs on a Mac. Material Design is Google's open source guidelines and components for making UIs for desktop and mobile apps. The site is at material.io and here are the guidelines that you can follow and there's a lot of tools and designers that have created uh, components, uh, templates, etc. for people to use. So usually when I'm creating a website or a new design, usually what I'm doing is I want to pick a color scheme. And I found a really good site that can help with that, which is saruwakakun.com backslash en material hyphen color. And I'll put the link in the description so that you'll have it. But this site right here uh, just has a lot of examples of color schemes that you possibly could use. It has exactly 30. So if you click one of them, it'll show up on the side on how it, the color scheme would look. Sort of like the orange and the red. So I'll go with something like this. Now, on Sketch's website, there is a lot of plugins that you can use. And I've already typed out material. So there's a material plugin by Google. You can get it from here, or you can go directly to the material design website uh, that is created by Google and download the, the plugin from there. Well, Go and download the plugin. So let's open up a, a new file on Sketch. And this version of Sketch isn't, I'm not logged into my main account on my computer, so I have to install the plugin on this, uh, this user ID that I'm using for recording these videos. So when you open up Sketch, Go to Manage Plugins and then reveal the plugin folder. Click to open it. Go to your downloads and move the Material Sketch plugin to that folder. When you go back to Sketch, the plugin will be there. Now from here, what you want to do is open the theme editor and you generally want to create a theme based on the existing themes that they have. So 
you don't want to overwrite these, but you want to start with one of these as a baseline and then create your own theme. So open it. And right now, um, this is just an example. So let's call this Insta app theme and I'll put it on my desktop. Generally you want to save this someplace that maybe you want to make a file uh, in your in your docs uh, root file something like sketch themes. So then from here you can go back to the page with the color schemes and then change the color schemes. Just paste in the values then I want to put in the reds Maybe I want that a little bit lighter. As you see, the colors are updated. With the colors that I just specified. You can also change the fonts if you'd like to for the headers. Then also you can change the corner styles for your apps. And last is you can change the icons. So after this, you want to save this file. So create a new file and put an artboard. You can select, like let's try iPhone 8, reduce this. So go to insert and then you can start seeing the different symbols of the material design. So let's start with uh, top nav. And insert a bottom nav. Let's do four up. And you can put a card in the middle. So let's do image on top, expanded, rest it. And on the side here, you can go and change any of the elements that you'd like. Now, what I haven't found in any of the videos is how exactly do am I supposed to know what all of these different elements are? So if you go over to the material design site, click on the navigation, go scroll to the bottom to components. 
and on components, you'll start to see all of the different elements that are in the Sketch plugin. So you'll see the app bar, you'll see the backdrop, the banners, the bottom nav, buttons, data tables. And this will give you an overview of when to use these elements, when's the best practice of not using the elements, plus really good examples. And this is something that I haven't seen in any of the tutorials um, because I was pretty confused on how exactly am I supposed to know what all of these elements are. Um, but in a material design site, uh, once you scroll down to the material guidelines, you'll see components and it has the different components. And if you're looking for a, a bunch of them, I would suggest that you command uh, click so you can open up the elements in a new tab. And that is if you're using uh, Chrome. Anyway, this is Craig just giving you hopefully a quick tutorial on using the Material Design uh, Theme Editor plugin for Sketch. And good luck with creating your app. If you like the video and can use this, like it, subscribe, or leave a comment. Thank you. This is Craig for Digital People Folk. Have a good day.